What's more likely? <laughs> never say never, but never. I, I didn't mean to get too aggressive, but I do think in a slightly less aggressive tone, that person should not have a vote. There's nothing worse when you're arguing with someone than when you pretend that it matters to you, and then once it ends, you sort of walk it back. I, I, <laughs> Stay I'm not, aggressive. Why well, I'm not walking it back. I'm walking back my tone. I don't want the YouTube commenters to get mad. First off, hey, everybody. Happy Friday. Hey. How are you? What up? What up, what up? Uh, we're doing a show tomorrow. We are? Yeah. I just got the call from Rich that it's going so well that you all have to come back to work. We're going to do a third round tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I will gladly. Are you in? Uh, well, the quote Magic Johnson, uh, I'm not going to be here. <laughs> TJ's going to be at WrestleMania tomorrow, so he's got bigger things to do. And I have to be at a four year old T ball game. I went through that. <laughs> they stink. Four year olds just stink at baseball. <laughs> my son, does, so not, my son bad. does not stink. Yes, he does. Everyone on his team, well, compared to Every everyone parent on his team, thinks their four year old's awesome. He, I assure you, he stinks. I assure you, he's the best player in this four year old league. <laughs> That's like being the tallest short person. <laughs> All right, here's the game. It's called What's More Likely. I give two scenarios, and you have to pick which one is more likely to take place. Very simple concept. Rich somehow doesn't understand it some of the times, but I, he was, oh, I think both are going to happen. No, you have to pick. I will choose. You got it, David? Okay. Not pick. The big NFL news this week, Stefan Diggs goes from Buffalo to Houston via trade. Who's more likely to win more games in 2024, the Bills or Texans? Texans. Having nothing to do with Diggs. Explain yourself. Because I believe that the Texans are actually a better team than the Bills. And having Diggs there, the only thing I don't like is he's going to want the ball, as we just heard from Tom. So that concerns me. But I would actually take Stroud. This is going to be a terrible take. Over Josh Allen? I would take Stroud over Allen. And I love Josh Allen. Just for next year or the rest of their careers? No, no. Next year, in terms of money, if I had one quarterback at that salary, I want Stroud at his salary versus Allen at his. He's the best value in the league, right? Or, it's well, all value to me. Brock Purdy is also a great, great value. I'll take Stroud over Purdy. In, terms, good of, value. in terms of value? In terms of just both talent and value. You think, Bill, so what are we talking about for Texans wins? 11-ish, something like that? 11 and 6? I think that's fair. I think their over-under will probably be 10, I so I will go over. All right, another point. TJ, you got a thought on that? Bills or Texans next year? Texans. Let's move on. J.J. McCarthy is someone uh, that we've been talking a lot about. Obviously, quarterbacks kind of rule the roost in uh, the NFL draft, especially coming up in a couple weeks, uh, maybe all top four NFL draft. But what's more likely, McCarthy goes in the top five or Michael Penix goes in the top 15? Are we uh, now I feel like rich. I was about to say, can we assume no trades? We're going to assume everyone, everyone drafts in their slot. How about that? Can, I, can we assume that everyone stays in their slot? Sure. Then I'm going to go Penix in the top 15. Okay. Okay, now let's assume trades. Then I'm going to go Penix in the top 15. Oh, you stay Penix the whole time. <laughs> you think McCarthy <laughs> ca- caps out at what, six? I just don't think we've been talking about four and four and yeah. getting as many quarterbacks off the board at yep. the top as possible. Yeah. It never works out the way you think it's going to work out. In, in general, the draft, and people start the mock draft seven to ten years in advance. I love mock When, when the kids season. are like in diapers. I'm in. <laughs> it generally doesn't work out that way. Would you draft my four-year-old son right now? Can you promise him? No, because he stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with you. He went into the neighbor's yard the other day. Just saying. How big is your property? A couple acres. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wide receivers have switched places. Uh, TJ, you have a thought on this real quick? You go Penix as well? You know, I'm very, I don't know, man, because I, it seems like people are really starting to fall in love with JJ. Dude, right? So, no, I, I look, if the guy goes, I know he's handsome, but come on. the guy goes up to four, I guess I'm not going to be surprised. Like, I, I don't know. That's the beautiful part about this draft. Love we the don't NFL know. Draft. So, literally, the only thing we know is Caleb's going number one, and that's it. Uh, wide receivers have been on the move this offseason. Wide receiver in a new home to have more touchdowns and yards next year. Calvin Ridley, now in Tennessee. Jerry Judy, now in Cleveland. Stephon Diggs, now in Houston. More yards and touchdowns. Basically, who's going to have the better year next year? Well, wait. Is it the better year or is it actual touchdown receipt? I'll tell you why I'm asking. Yards and touchdowns. So am I adding up yards and touchdowns or do touchdowns come for more than yards? What well, if a guy has 15 touchdowns but only 700 yards? Isn't would, that a better year? Hmm. Then yeah, technically. 
So I, I'm going to say, if you're asking for who's going to catch the most touchdown passes. Let's ask that. Let's do it individually. Okay. I'm taking Ridley. And the reason I am. For touchdowns? Yes. Here's why. I agree. I, I am very concerned about Diggs. I'm just going to throw it out there. Really? I know the Texans are all excited, and I just talked about how I think that they're going to be better and win 11 games. I'm kind of shocked that they just gave him $40 million for next year. It's it's a concern to me because of what Tom said, and, and, and we've thought that there was an issue that required him to get out of Buffalo. People, players who are like that are generally not happy anywhere, and it's a matter of when, not if, they become un unhappy in their current place. Who's the most unhappy uh, player you dealt with in the major leagues in terms of this, this scenario? Like a dig similar situation. Uh, after we traded away the team in 2012, uh, Giancarlo Stanton is the most unhappy I've ever been around a player, uh, except then when we gave him $325 million. Then he said, hey, all right, I'm a little happier. <laughs> Understandable. I think that much money would make me yeah, very happy, yeah. too. Unhappy about living in Miami? I mean, come on. No. Your, your son may get that deal. I think that's a low ball. Yeah, oh, big this, time. By the time he gets to I mean, that come point, on. that'll be, be the bad average bad. salary. It'll be about a third of what Cage brought What's laugh. more likely? <laughs> I, can I do a quick one? Just What's more likely sure that show. I dunk a basketball that's not on a regulation hoop or, my son makes the major or leagues. your son makes the major leagues? <laughs> My Yo, son makes the major leagues. I mean, you've never seen this kid, man. He can golf. You've never seen my vertical, man. Yeah, but you're like That's a good call. Five, so, four. Hey, guy, guy ran seven marathons in seven days That's on seven true. continents. I mean, come but on. you've never seen Cage Brock when rake in the backyard. I'm telling you, my G is special. Have you? <laughs> yeah, I've seen him. That's my you man. You guys socialize, uh, socialize outside the show? Why wouldn't we? I couldn't get anyone to return an email or text from you guys. Well, I, I thought we you. were I, like I don't know you like that. Friends. Yet. I don't know you I like that. I was standing yet. outside the forum last night just waiting because I thought you said you're coming to Springsteen and I just stood there in the rain. Do you know why I didn't go? Because I wanted to prepare for this show uh, and I needed to make sure I did my work because I care about this show. Priorities. Priorities. You got to prioritize work. I always prioritize work the boss. over family. Over the boss. That's why I'm always alone. <laughs> wow. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.